I'm Vishal Rain. In this video tutorial, we would be looking into uh, Maya Dynamics, uh, wherein we would like to create a particle burst effect which is uh, used in motion graphics. So, let's get started. I would like to uh, use N Dynamics in this case. So, uh, in N Dynamics, uh, we will start with uh, creating an emitter. So, it would be volume emitter and uh, it's a torus uh, shaped emitter so i'll just create this and uh, i'll be viewing this effect from the top view so let me uh, go to the attribute editor and uh, set a, a rate of uh, one lakh fifty thousand particles And I'll animate this rate. On the first frame, it would be one lakh fifty thousand, and uh, I'll just change the timeline to fifth frame, uh, and then I'll set the rate to zero. So it would be immediate release of particles from the emitter like that. So let me choose my timeline to set maybe one fifty frames there, and this is what you see here. So I select the particles and change the particle type uh, to points and then set the point size to 1. So if I just play it, I get this particle bust. There is an immediate change in the color because the color is coded to velocity. Uh, based on the speed, the color changes. We will change that later. So for the time being, I have got this. I select the particles and change the dynamic properties of it so let's change conserve value to 0.95 so that will preserve the uh, speed of the particles and also I'll just uh, get it to the emitter and uh, set away from axis to 0 so um, I al almost restricted the particles to moving drastically. I'll just get into the fields and create a volume uh, axis which is uh, a field which works very specifically in a specific volume. It has got all the uh, field types uh, put it into one uh, container. So away from axis is more or less like now radial field so it pushes every particle away from the center let's say i just created it just pushes away so it gives a kind of impact of blast effect so i just want to change the volume shape to a sphere and then let me uh, put the scale to a bigger size so when i play it you get that push that looks great now what I do is I select the particles and then apply a turbulence field. Turbulence field uh, generally makes the particles just give that a push uh, from this away from center. Uh, it gives a wave pattern to the overall effect. This kind of effect we see in motion graphics uh, these days. So I just uh, uh, you know animate the phase value of the turbulence. So I'll animate this with an expression by typing is equals to time where the value get upgrades by the timeline here. So if I just play it, what you see is uh, the turbulence pattern uh, gets a wave effect and uh, frequency uh, I'll put it a 0.3 in this case so I get a bigger wave uh, and the overall effect later I, I add one more turbulence field with the same uh, time expression in the face x y and z but the frequency this time would be more so it will give me a smaller wave details would see that kind of small waves. 
so you can generally play with uh, different So I'll just get into the uh, per particle array attributes here and uh, in RGBPP the color is connected to a RAM which is internal color RAM which you have seen uh, where you get the color a RAM and which is connected to the edge here. So I, I don't want to use the internal RAM so I'm going to break the connection and create my own ramp here so it is going to be RGB VPP and uh, it generally gives me a ramp which is uh, red green and blue so what that does is it gives uh, color to the particles now what color I've got is 0 in the tile where 0 position the color is red so I want these three different colors to be uh, used in this total particles. So what I do is uh, RGB VPP. I'll just create an expression is equals to random range zero comma one. So what do you see is uh, the, the colors are scattered inside the ramp here. So RGB VPP generally takes the color of the ramp in V direction randomly. Um, so it's taking red, green, blue based on the expression. So now I could just uh, get into the ramp and edit the colors where I would like to pick a white sky blue and a darker version of blue so if I generally play it you see this I just change the background color and what should I have? I'll just remove the attenuation value in both the turbulence and let's see reduce the magnitude and then select the particles and change the lifespan to random range with a lifespan random of 0.5 I'll increase the lifespan let me put uh, this to real time 24 fps to see the effect getting nicely played So I could generally uh, select the scale of the volume axis field to control how far the particles get pulled and all because it's pushing that away from the center and uh, 